Hello, good evening, and welcome to Van Wert High School. Tonight on WOSN, we've got a Division IV sectional final between the number five seed Delta St. John's Blue Jays and the number four seed Pandora Gilboa Rockets. I'm Garrett C. Wright, joined alongside Josiah Stoke. We'll bring you all the action tonight here from Van Wert. A two-point game between these two the last time they played. Uh, Pandora Gilboa got the win on the road. I think we're in store for another very good matchup between two evenly matched squads here. Yeah, well, I have to be honest, this was the game I was looking forward to watching. You know, as you said, a two-point difference between the two on the road. Close game, that one, all the way through. So I'm excited to see what it brings tonight. So Pandora Yilboa comes in at 18 and four, stepping in two in the Blanchard Valley Conference, five and two in the Putnam County League. So all of their losses come in conference play and their dual conference affiliation. Meanwhile, St. John's is 16 and seven, six and three out of the Midwest Athletic Conference. And we'll take a look now at the starting lineups. First for the Blue Jays, coached by Aaron Elworth. Landon Grothaus, a first-team All-Midwest Athletic Conference performer. The 5'10 senior averages 11 points per contest, and he'll wear number two. Number five is Nolan Schwinn, a six-foot senior, four points, three rebounds per contest. Cameron Elworth wears number 11. A freshman, the six-foot freshman, was the first-team All-Midwest Athletic Conference performer, just shy of 22 points a game. And being a freshman and being on the first-team All-Mac is about as likely as seeing Bigfoot. I mean, it's, it's a great accomplishment. With 22 points, eight rebounds per contest for the coach's son, he'll wear number 11. And then the Munters, Austin Munter, a 5'11 junior, he'll wear number 12. And Aaron Munter, a 6'2 junior, six points, four rebounds per contest for number 33. So the starting five for Delta St. John's, Landon Grothaus, Nolan Schwinnick, Cameron Elwer, Austin Munter, and Aaron Munter. For the Pandora Gilboa Rockets, head coach Mike Lee leading the Rockets. Colin Harris was a second team conference performer in both Putnam County League and the BBC, the 6'1 junior. Wears number one, nine points and five rebounds at all. Derek Mann, a six foot senior, wears number two, eight points per contest. Aiden Harris, a 6'2 junior, wears number three, 17 points and four rebounds for number three. Aiden Morris is a six foot junior. He'll wear number 10, four points and two rebounds. And Jake Mag rounds out the starting five inside the center circle. Number 40, the 6'2 senior. Averages five points and three and a half rebounds per contest. Starters for the Rockets, Harris, Mag, Harris, Morris, and Mag. The tip off is won by the Blue Jays. And Landon Grothaus will bring it across the timeline at the high right point. Finds the bath to the bucket. Munner underneath, right back out to Grothaus. Plenty of time for a three off the heel. No, a rebound secured by Derek Mag of PG. Yeah, good look on that first possession for this Blue Jays team as they got an open shot by the man he wants to shoot, in Grothaus. They found himself wide open, just wasn't able to knock down the three. Aiden Harris off the screen on the left wing into the near corner. Derek Mag lost a handle through a pack in the play. Out of bounds off of him, and it will go to the Blue Jays. Seven twenty-nine to go. Still scoreless on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. Rockets will pick up full court here. As Roadhouse, or excuse me, Munner brings the ball slowly up the floor inside the center circle, reverses, bounces, and a Blue Jays hand off to Cameron Elwood. Double team, right wing in a tough spot, tries to dribble out of it. Instead, gets to Munner. Aaron Munner dribbles back to the right wing, hands right back off to Elwood. They'll double the freshman quickly. One minute gone here in the first quarter. Roadhouse, top of the key, works to the right. He'll hold, drives baseline, picks up the dribble, fires off a pass underneath. Schwinnin tried to put it up, blocked, got back out to Aaron Munner. Jump stops in the lane, off the window, and the first bucket of the night goes to Aaron Munner. Good take there by Aaron Munner as he found a little bit of space with a good jump stop. Good fundamentals there and was able to finish. And Mike Lee on the side was trying to get a, a jump ball call earlier in that possession, but opportunity and Blue Jays able to capitalize on it. Harris, left wing. Colin Harris. Hands off to Aiden Harris. Drives to the free throw line. Rises, fires, hits. All square two on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. Elworth, top of the key. Working around the perimeter in the far corner. Roadhouse baseline drive up and under. Tough shot for the senior. 
strong drive there by Broadhouse as he was able to drive baseline with the reverse layup and was able to finish. Harris on the left elbow, bounces to Colin Harris, left wing. Throws top of the key to Mack. Jake Mack in the near corner to Derek Mack. Harris to the left block. And a foul committed by the Blue Jays. Looks like it goes against character Cameron Elwood, who beg your pardon, is first. First for either squad. Makes this matchup so exciting as both teams really play very similar on the offensive side of the ball. Both of them like to play that five out motion and continue to move the ball, get it to their playmakers and see if they can break people off the dribble. Aiden Harris works to his left, hands off to Colin Harris. Morris, or excuse me, Matt. Aiden Harris thought about that three in the near corner, gets a screen, works back to the top of the key, turns a corner in the window. Yeah. Aiden Harris with four. Ties it up at four. Schwinner thought about the three, drives to the left block. Tries to kick in the near corner, poked out of play by Aiden Morris. And it will stay with St. John's with 5 one to go here in this first quarter. Elwer, baseline right, looks to throw it in, does to Grothaus. Grothaus, baseline, bounces wide open, and the floor is up and good for Nolan Schwinner. And he gives St. John's the 6-4 lead. Very unselfish play there by Landon Grothaus as he did a great job of attacking that baseline. Found his teammate Nolan Schwinner on the backside, was able to knock down the easy bucket. Colin Harris in the corner, gives to Derek Mann. Gives back to Harris along this near sideline. Tries to drive baseline. Short corner, step back jumper. No. Rebound comes down to Elwer at his pocket, pick from behind, but it goes right to Nolan Schwinner. And Blue Jeans retain possession. Elwer rises and fires from the elbow. No. Munner chases down the loose rebound. In the far corner, baseline. Dribbles out of it. Roadhouse thought about the three. They'll pounce it back to Elwer. Back to the basket. Spins, stripped, got it right back in the lane. Schwinnin, mid-range jumper, drops it in. Schwinnin makes it 8-4 Blue Jays. 3.45 to go in the first. Now both teams coming out hot here as Nolan Schwinnin knocks down another bucket for this Blue Jays team. Only comes in averaging four points a game and already has that here. So. Different Blue Jays finding a way to be productive on the offensive end. Derek Mangle, Aiden Morris, I beg your pardon. Aiden Morris goes right to the window. And it's 8-6. Blue Jays back the other way quickly. Austin Munner for three. Long. And the rebound pulled down by Aiden Harris, but it's ripped away by Cameron Elwer. Scoop shot. Got a wedgie. And he'll shoot two. These famous recipe free throws. It's been an interesting matchup so far between Aiden Harris and Cameron Eller. Both of them guarding each other the majority of the time here tonight, going at each other. So, you know, it's going to be interesting how that develops throughout the remainder of this game. Eller, an 86% free throw shooter, buries the first as Munter. And both Munters will check out of the game for St. John's. Ethan Drew Miller in the game. Jack Gerker on the floor as well now for the Blue Jays. As Elwer hits them both. Six foot freshman. First points of the evening makes it 10 6 on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard after the least famous recipe free throws. Jumper from Derek Mann is up and good. His first back. That's the lead to two. Blue Jays quickly back the other way. Grothouse shot fouled. And he'll go to the least famous recipe free throw line. Both teams like to push the ball, get it up to the floor as quickly as possible. Possible landing Grothaus there, able to find some space, driving to the lane, and opportunity here to extend this Blue Jay lead. 2.55 to go in the first quarter. And that ball hits every bit of the rim and doesn't drop for landing Grothaus. Free throws tonight brought to you by Lee's famous recipe chicken in Lima, Wampak, and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. 
Lee's famous recipe chicken home style happens here. Missed the second, goes out of bounds off the Rockets as Nate Mag tried to come down with it, couldn't corral it. It will remain with the Blue Jays. Roadhouse looks to inbound wide open Schwinnen. He's got six first quarter points. Oh, that's twice tonight. Schwinnen's found himself in a good spot. Great pass by his teammate and able to knock down the easy bucket. Harris for three straight away. No. Rockets trying to get the loose basketball as Nate Mag had it go out of bounds off of his left hand. And the score remains 12 to 8. Blue Jays basketball. Couple substitutions here for the Rockets is Owen Huffman on the floor. And we'll come on for Derek Mag. Approaching two and a half to go. Elwer, right of the center circle. It's a screen. Double team. And a miscommunication. He threw a right. Jack Ker he threw to his right. Jack Gerker was cutting towards the basket. And that's a turnover by St. John's. Well, when you see the game plan of this Rockets team, is anytime Cameron Ella comes off of the wall screen, they're going to double it, force him to get rid of the ball, make it, make somebody else on the Blue Jays team beat him. Pass to Morris, tightly contested by the Blue Jays. Munner back on the floor, Austin Munner that is. Morris bounces to Harris, looking to lob down low to Mack. Instead, Aiden Harris to Aiden Morris left side. To Aiden Harris. Here's to Colin Harris. Mag wants it down low. Post it up instead. Harris into the near corner. Mag jump stop. Floater. No. And a foul committed by the Blue Jays. See who the number is that picked up that foul. It's a second foul. Ethan Drupal picks up the foul. So two fouls apiece for both squads. The score is 12 to 8 on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. Rockets bounce to Mag. Nate Mag, turnaround jumper, no. And the rebound secured by Austin Munner. Roadhouse wants to run, meanders through that Rocket D, kicks in the far corner. And now St. John's will patiently work the basketball. It's a foul. Committed by Colin Harris. It's his first. 90 seconds remain here in this first quarter. The judge might be not too happy about that, but the officials saw two hands. <laughs> Anytime they see that, they're going to call it every single time. Austin Munner tries to bounce one on the baseline, stolen away by the Rockets. Aiden Harris up the floor, nearly out of his pocket, pick falls loose, and it is stolen away by the Blue Jays. Long outlet pass, Cameron Elmer off the window. Make it 14 to 8 Blue Jays with a six point lead and 60 seconds remaining on this front of insurance scoreboard here in the first. I like to see those hustle plays turn into points, and that happened on that last possession as they got a steal and easy bucket on the other end. Nick Mags three short, thrown back into play by the Rockets, but it lands right to the hands of Cameron Elmer. Splits a double team, nearly had his pocket picked, and he's fouled in back row by Owen Elkman. So quickly, that's the fourth foul by the Rockets. A couple of changes here with 41.5 to go in the first quarter. Nolan Schwinnen, Landon Grothouse, Jack Jerker, Austin Munner, Aaron Munner, and Cameron Owen on the floor. For the Blue Jays. Elwa. Munner sets the screen. Working around a perimeter. Schwinnen caught him out to three. Under 30 to go. Cameron Elwa between the circles. Walks back out near the midcourt stripe as the Blue Jays will hold for the final shot. 14 to 8. 15 seconds. 10. Elwa. Slowly works to the right with five. Now back to the left. Lost the handle. Falls loose. Got it to Aaron Munner. Good if it goes. It doesn't. And he's played one. 
14 to 8 on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. St. John's leads Pandora Gilboa after one here on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard presented by Sprunger Insurance with locations in Pandora and London. Sprunger Insurance is go Rockets. 14 to 8 the score on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. The Blue Jays, six points from Nolan Schwinkler in that first quarter. Averages just four as he went through his eye. That's a good contribution there from the six-foot senior in the opening stanza. Well, and you see this, Pandora's focusing so much on Elwer that we see that Schwinn is finding a lot of those open spaces, get, making himself available, and, they, and just knocking down those easy baskets for this Blue Jays team. Rockets trailing by six. Harris, step back three, straight away, no. Rebound secured by Aaron Miller. Blue Jays up the far sideline. Elwer, double teamed off the screen. Bounces, baseline drive. Schwinnin, got in a tough spot. And Aaron Munner spins on the left side of the lane. Back to Schwinnin. Elwer will hold. Bounces to Grothaus. First team all Mac player. Gives to Jack Gerker. Munner. Works left side. Schwinnin, back to Gerker. Thought about the triple. The approach one minute gone here in this second quarter. Nearly stolen away, and it was. Aiden Harris takes the sure thing layup. He's got six points. Cuts the lane to four. Oh, good play there by Aiden Harris. It's his man wasn't even receiving the ball, but he stepped into the passing lane, found it easily, and got the easy left-handed layup. Just got the block there as Landon Grothaus. Harris, three. No. Long rebound comes out to Aaron Munner. Would have been a big triple. Oh, absolutely. You can tell the PG fans were ready to get yes, up and they cheer. Were. They'll bounce to Elwer along the baseline. And they'll say it's tipped out of bounds by the Rockets. Gerker and Aaron Munner sub out for the Blue Jays. As looks like Austin Munner comes back in the game for St. John's. Ethan Fruitmiller on the floor once more as well. Elmer, free throw line, Roadhouse. On about the baseline drive, instead brings it back to the right wing. Elmer, far corner. Approaching the six minute mark here in the second quarter. Roadhouse directs traffic. Elmer, top of the key, jumps in the lane. Blocked. And they foul committed by the Rockets. Rocket faithful on a travel called on Cameron Ellen. He might have a case. Nonetheless, the freshman goes to the least famous recipe free throw. Coach Lee right away on that, that, that play went right to the nearest official and said he moved his feet, he shifted his feet. But to no avail, not many times do you change an official's mind. No. They don't generally say, you know what? You're right. First least famous recipe free throw is up and good. The six-foot freshman mentioned earlier, 86% from the charity strike. That one off the mark. Rebound, though, comes down to Schwinnin. Elwood, left wing, in the lane, it spins off the window, can't hit. Rebound, pulled down by the Rockets. Jake Mack and Colin Harris combined for the board. As Aiden Harris holds on the left wing, on his right hip, puts it on the deck. Gives to Aiden Morris. Rockets go right down Main Street. Scoop shot, no for Harris. And the score remains 15 to 10. Three, Roadhouse, yes. That grows the lead to eight. 18 10 with 5 10 to go on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. And then a charge goes against Aiden Morris. Second. 
So that's the sixth foul committed by Pandora Gaboa. Just over five minutes to go here in the half. Next one sends St. John's to the front of the one and one. We can feel the energy building, especially on the St. John's side, as it knocked down that huge three by Landon Roadhouse and then an offensive foul on the other end. So starting to see those fans really get into it. Roadhouse, top of the key. Jump start. Hangs. No. Ripped away by the Rockets. 4.45 in the quarter. Harris to the free throw line, strip. Ball's loose, and it lands in the hands of Ethan Grootmill. He'll set the screen. Elwer, double team. Grootmiller, baseline, gives back to Elwer in the high post. And he's called for the charge. Second foul committed by the freshman. Keeps the score 18-10. This first team third. 4.23 to go in this first half. Rockets looking for a bucket in the worst way. As Colin Harris brings the ball up the floor. Throws left to Aiden Harris. We have to imagine whatever is going to happen, whatever possession that PG runs is going to involve Aiden Harris. Comes in averaging 17 points a game, but a couple of those have happened tonight. Gotten to the rim, just haven't been able to put it in the basket. Tear trap floater for Harris was off the mark. Elwood rises, fires, hits. Timeout called by Mike Lee of Bandor Gilboa Rockets. Sparner Insurance Scoreboard 21 10 St. John's here on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard presented by Sprunger Insurance with more with locations in Pandora and Bluffton. Sprunger Insurance says go Rockets. 21-10. Dump to St. John's after the Kier and Elmer three. But I think that's a good time out there, Josiah, by Mike Lee. Just stop the bleeding and, and, and regroup a little bit. Yeah, you know, they, they've had some good shots in the last couple of possessions, just haven't been able to knock them down. And, you know, we'll see you know, big possession here, see if they can cut into this lead. You know, as you said, kind of stop the bleeding from this Blue Jays as we start to see some of that momentum, especially the fans getting into it. Some big shots, especially on the defensive side, too, getting some good stops. Aiden Harris, handling the basketball, works to his left, throws right, drive. Shot up and good from Owen Huffman. First bench point for either squad. Cuts the lead to 9 21 12. Roadhouse. Back to Aaron Munner. Three on the way from Schwinn. It's up and good. Schwinn, a 33% three point shooter, has nine first half points. Aaron pass from the Rockets results in a turnover with under three to go in this first half. It's unofficially turnover number five here for this PG team. Can't say enough about Schwinnin so far here in this first half. Nine points, you know, has had some easy buckets, but then steps up and knocks down a big three. 2.45 to go in the half. Roadhouse right to the window. Now 26-12, the largest lead of the game for the Blue Jays. Colin Harris, Mag, Nate Mag, a little bit of contact. Foul committed by the Blue Jays. Goes against Lane and Roadhouse. His first. Nope, the give it to Aaron Munner, I think, part. Roadhouse still without a foul. Rockets, inbound. Harris, back to Huffman, thought about the three, drives right side instead. And that far corner dribbles out of a tough spot. Aiden Harris stripped and he's fouled. Aiden Harris gonna go to the Leafs' famous recipe free throw line. Free throw tonight brought to you by Leafs' famous recipe. Chicken and Lima, Wombok and Delphus. Call Leafs for all your catering needs. Leafs' famous recipe chicken, home style, happens here. Up his second foul. 
as Aiden Harris scores his seventh point. If you enjoy games like this one and thankful for the chance to showcase local high school teams on TV, consider making a donation to TV44 so we can keep airing games like this one. Donate online right now at WTLW.com or send a gift by phone by calling 419-339-4444. Harris hits both Lee's famous recipe free throws. We'll approach two minutes to go. 26-14, St. John's with the lead in the basketball. Elwood had a little bit of space to shoot, doesn't take it. Jump stops, hands off to Drew Miller. Gets it right back, free throw into the far corner. Roadhouse back to Elwood, off the screen for three. Bang! He's got 11. 140 to go in the half. Two threes here in the second quarter. Found himself a little bit of space there. Colin Harrison backed off just enough. Rised up, knocked down to three. Rockets lose the handle, out of play. And now we team possession. Now we got a conference talk about it. And it will remain with the Rockets. Harris looks the inbound, bounces to Jake Mag. Colin Harris leaves it off. Easy bucket there for Aiden Morris. The all PVC honorable mention performer now has four. Yeah, good drive there by Colin Harris. Found his teammate right beside the bucket. Was able to knock down the easy shot. Austin Buck gives to Schwinnick. Roadhouse, contested three, no. Tipped back out, lands in the hands of Owen Huffman. Rockets want to run momentarily. Huffman steps up to the three-point line. Didn't take the triple. Instead, Aiden Harris, the handoff, top of the key. Holds. Hands off to Colin Harris along the near sideline. 40 seconds remaining in the court. Now Aiden Harris. Works to his left, guarded by Elwood. Gets his screen, tries to turn a corner, can't. Bounces, baseline drive, hangs, doesn't hit. Offensive rebound, though, for Owen Huffman. Got it, fouled, and he'll shoot two Lee's famous recipe free throws. Yeah, Owen Huffman is able to catch the ball, drive to that baseline. Looked like he was almost at an easy bucket. Left it a little bit short, got his own rebound, and opportunity now to shoot some free throws. First free throw attempt is up and good for Owen Huffman. He's got three. 20 seconds remaining in the second quarter. 29-17 on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. Looks to trim that lead a little more. Huffman got them both. From the Lee Savers recipe free throw line, Blue Jays look content to slowly walk the ball up the floor and try to hold for the final shot of the quarter into the half. 27-18. Roadhouse with four. Baseline, kicks, pump faked, another pump. Gerker lost the handle, and that'll do it for the half. 29-18, the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard reads. St. John's with the lead at the halftime break. We'll come back with third quarter action for you here at the sectional final at WOSN. Sprunger Insurance with locations in Pandora and Bluffton. Sprunger Insurance says go Rockets. Third quarter about to get underway. The halftime score 29-18. Delta St. John's with the lead over Pandora and Gilboa. I'm Garrett Seawright joined alongside Josiah Stober. Bringing you all the action here. The Blue Jays begin the quarter with the basketball. And Schwinnen holds on the right wing. Tries to bounce. A lot of hands in the way. Stolen away. By the Rockets, Aiden Harris finds Mag in the lane, lost the handle, triple team, dribbles out of it, passes out of it, big part. As Harris gets top of the key, Colin Harris, Aiden Morris bounces, Mag backdoor cut, Colin Harris in a tough spot, reverses, can't hit, and the ball 
ripped away, dribbled on the baseline, and goes to St. John's. Did all that work to get the ball down low. You gotta, gotta try to convert those as Grothaus runs to the right block, bounces back out to Elworth. Looking for some room. Aaron Munner for three off the heel. Long rebound comes out to him, and he commits the foul. You know, and it makes it difficult. He did a really good job of catching that ball, securing that ball, you know, and drawing the foul. 29-18 the score. Third foul committed by Mutter. He'll take a seat on the bench. Aiden Morris gives off. Fallon Harris left wing. Works it around. Derek Mag puts a three up. No. Ball tipped back out, and it's chased down by Swinnon. Able to stay on his feet. A great play by the senior. He's got 11. Uh, we talked about Swinnon earlier in this broadcast, but just those little plays that he's done tonight, you know, comes out of nowhere, just gets a little hand on it, allows him to corral the ball and finish at the other end. Now, the big time lane in broke now. So that'll be just his first. Takes the lead now. 31-14 on the Sprunger Insurance Scoreboard. Harris lobs in Jake Mag. Hands right back off to Aiden Harris. Bounces. Colin Harris off the screen. Aiden Morris works to the top of the key. Wanted the pass, never got it. Eric Mag holds. Left elbow. Gives to Jake Mag. Right back to Derek Mag. Colin Harris, cross court pass. Derek Mag for three, can't hit. Rockets having a tough night from behind the three point line. There's a rebound pulled down by Schwinner. Elwer breaks down the defender. Grothaus three. No. Balls loose. Hooked back up to a Blue Jay. Elwer pump faked on the three. In the lane. Hangs, fouled, and Cameron Elwer will go to the Lee's famous recipe free throw line after the foul. Well, Cameron Elwer just so smooth with that ball. You know, was able to break down a couple defenders, found an open shooter, you know, gets another possession there, drives again, draws contact. You know, just does so many little things right, especially for a freshman. You know, he's got a lot of skill. Elwer hits the free throw. Free throws tonight brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken and Lima, Wapak and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. It's 32-18. OJ's with the lead. Elwer hits them both. He's got 13 points. Five and a half to go in the third. Rockets looking for their first point of the half. Nearly stolen away. Three from the corner, no. Long rebound comes out to Aiden Morris, who missed the triple. Hill between the circles. Colin Harris left side. Five minutes to go in the third. Morris. Looks up. Get rid of it. Has to hand it off to Colin Harris. Looking for Aiden Harris instead. In the corner, gets it right back. 4.45 to go. Long offensive possession for the Rockets. Looking for a bucket. Foul committed by Austin Munner. Well, and Austin Munner done a really good job on that possession of not letting Aiden Harris touch the ball. You know, really denying him, you know, forcing Pandora Gilboa to, to find somebody else to provide some offense. 4.40 in the quarter. Rockets trail, 33-18. Haven't scored here in the third. They'll bounce it in to Nate Mag. He gives to Colin Harris. Aiden Harris, I beg your pardon. Trying to dribble with it, stolen away, bounces out of it. Gets back to Colin Harris between the circles. Back 
backdoor. Aiden Harris, step back jumper, good. And that's a much needed basket for the Rockets. He's got 10. Elwood, top of the key, crosses over to the right elbow. Roadhouse got his defender in the air, dribbled it out of bounds. And a foul committed by the Rockets. They'll say it goes against Nate Mag, his first. So Blue Jays will throw it in from the baseline right. In a Drew Miller. Back to Grillhouse. Schwinnick. Hell off a screen. Hide the rim for a moment. Instead, Gerker lets one fly. No. Colin Harris to rebound. Rockets race up the near sideline with Aiden Harris. Aiden Morris, Aiden Harris. Mag posting up, didn't get it. 345. 3320 on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. Off a screen, free throw line. Morris foul. Foul committed by Ethan Troop Miller, his second. That is the fourth foul committed by Delphi St. John's here in the third quarter. 332 to go. Aiden Harris holds. Bounces to Colin Harris, drives baseline on that far side, will back it back out. Nate Mack, top of the key. Yeah, PG just struggling to find some open shots. Delphi's doing a great job of just keeping him in front, you know, switching those difficult screens, and got an open shot here. Colin Harris for three, no. Offensive rebound pulled down by Aiden Harris. He spins and lays it up. 12 points for the junior. 3.05 remaining. In the third, Elwer poked from behind and a foul committed by Colin Harris. That'll be his third. And that's the third foul committed by the Rockets. His third team third. Nate Mag comes out of the game in exchange for Jake Mag. Kirk Miller will inbound. Roadhouse, Gerker, Elwer, Room, bang. 16 for the freshman, and the lead is now 36-22 on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. Well, and you start to see on that last possession there by Elwer recognizing, you know, Tom Harris a little upset by the last call. You know, realizing, man, I'm going to run off these screens and make him defend me. He might be a little bit out of it mentally and knocks down that big three. Second foul committed by Landon Grothouse. So after Grothouse hit the deck, we'll try to mop up the spot on the floor where the perspiration hit the wood. 2.39 to go. There's no admission fee to watch this game, but there is a cost for TV44 to broadcast it for you. Say thanks to viewer supported TV44 by sending them a financial gift right now. TV44 relies on donations of viewers to enable the airing of this game and all other locally produced programs. Right now, by visiting WTLW.com, click the donate button. Time out on the floor. We'll step aside as well. 2.39 to go in the third. You're on WOSN. Scoreboard presented by Sprunger Insurance with locations in Pandora and Bluffton. Sprunger Insurance says go Rockets. Rockets climb back in this one. They trail 36-22 on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. They have the basketball as Colin Harris receives the inbounds. Huffman, Aiden Harris, top of the key. The lob down low to Mag. Kicks back up. Trying to repost him up. Instead, he'll vacate. Colin Harris, Aiden Harris. Missed the shot. Rebound to the Blue Jays. Tough shot there by Aiden Harris. As he drew two Blue Jay defenders. Shot there by Elwood. Gerker, wide open for three. No. And a rebound. Secured by Jake Mann. Long outlet pass up ahead to the Rockets. Hoffman gives to Morris for three, short. 
Long rebound. Comes out to Landon Grothaus, and the lid has been on the bucket for the Rockets tonight from behind the arc. Really having a difficult time finding good looks. You know, the opportunity there out of transition found the open shooter, but even that, you know, three, four feet behind the three point line, difficult shot. Travel committed by Ethan Druckmiller as he got the pass on the right block, walked with it. So, with 90 seconds to go in the third quarter, 36 22, Rockets get the basketball back. St. John's picks up a token full court and helps the snag off. Colin Harris tried to hand it off, ball's loose, still loose, and a foul committed by Cameron Elwood. Be his third. See some good sportsmanship there. You see goes and gives Aiden Harris a pass to say, hey, I wasn't trying to hit you on the back there. Harris a little slow to get off the floor. We have Coach over there trying to tell Scott Nurse, the official, that the ball went off the player's knee, but once again, talked about earlier, can't really change the official's mind. No. Coaching one minute to go here in the third quarter. Colin Harris, hands off, three from Mag. A much needed triple for the Rockets. Cuts the lead to 11 at 36-25. Big possession here for this Rockets team is can they get a stop and maybe one more possession here to see if they can cut it to single digits. Blue Jays look like they're happy to just run out this clock and no pressure from the Rockets forcing them to do anything different. 30 seconds on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard here in the third. 11-point lead for the Blue Jays as Landon Grothaus stands right in the center circle. Watching the numbers tick off. 20. 15. Grothaus with 10. Tries to get past. Lost the handle. Ball's loose. Still loose. Got rid of it. Elward. Good if it goes. No. And with half a second to go in the third, the turnover on the Blue Jays. Rockets might try to let one fly. Probably not going to be able to get one off, but maybe for our own entertainment, we'll see if they can't hit a three-quarter <laughs> to get everybody excited. But chances are not going to be able to get one off in half a second. Colin Harris. Tries the long inbounds, throws it at the window, missed everything, and that'll do it for the third quarter. 36-25 to score, fourth quarter action coming up here in the sectional final on WOSN. Free throws tonight are brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wombach, and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Home style happens here. Fourth quarter underway. 36-25, Blue Jay lead, Rocket basketball. Eric C. Ryan and Josiah Stover bringing you all the action here. From Van Wert. Owen Huffman had it. Colin Harris. Second team, all BBC, all PCL. Top of the key. Drives right. Kicks. Mag for three. No. Rebound to Huffman. Hands off to Aiden Harris. Cross court pass to Colin Harris. Drives the lane. Hangs. Swirls it home. First bucket of the evening for the junior. And the lead has shrunk to nine. Two points on the night for Colin Harris. Comes in averaging over nine points a game. So. Uh, has drawn a lot of the attention of Eric Cameron Eller you know, on the offensive and the defensive side. So. Elwer down low to Aaron Munner. Gives it right back to Elwer in the lane. Kicks. Grothaus thought about the three. Takes one step. Fouled. And he'll go to the Lee's Famous Recipe free throw line. Shot right there by Landon Grothaus. Got his defender up in the air. One dribble to his left. And 
you know, one of those things that the coaches really hate seeing is when you foul a jump shot. Goathouse, an 85% free throw shooter, buries the first least famous recipe free throw. 37 27 the score on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. The first team all MAC player hits them both. He's got nine. The lead rose to 11. Morris, right in the center circle. Colin Harris has some room to work to the block. Tries to let one fly. Shot affected. Lands in the hands of Aaron Munner. A little bit of a four shot there by Colin Harris. He's trying to show what he did in the last possession. Roadhouse to Schwinnen at tough over his head layup. Schwinnen with 13 on the evening. Ball poked out of bounds by Schwinnen defensively. 40-27 the score. Rockets trail by 13 here in the fourth. Well, once again, Schwinnen just finding open space. You know, so much emphasis is defending Cameron Elwer, and you know, he's just standing by the bucket, throw me the ball when I put it in. Six minutes to go. Derek Mang, top of the key. Guarded by Munner, throws right to Jake Mang. Morris hands off to Aiden Harris. Steps back at the free throw line, 545. Backdoor Morris, up and in. Nice cut by the junior. And now the lead is 11. When Bilbo's got to get a stop here. You know, it's been 11 a couple times. Goes to 13, 14, back to 11. Got to get a stop here. See if they can score on the other end. Put this in the single digits. Don't work, left wing. Gives right to Grothaus. He'll survey, turn to the sideline, get more instruction from Blue Jay head coach Aaron Elwer. Grothaus to Munner, right to the window. The big fella rumbles to the bucket, drops it home, 42-29. Oh, Blue Jays ran that set to perfection on that last possession. Knew what they were doing, got it to the right wing, had Munter cut to the basket, put in the layup. Landon Grothaus picks up his third foul on the block. Under five remaining here on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard in this fourth quarter. 42-29. The advantage for the Blue Jays. The seventh foul committed by St. John's sends Aiden Morris, a 64% free throw shooter, to the line. Grothaus will mop up the spot he hit the floor on. Four fifty-seven to go on a Sprunger Insurance scoreboard, and again Aiden Morris. Honorable mention All BBC this year. At the line, averages five, has six. Front end of the one and one from the least famous recipe free throw line. Nailed it. Now make it 42-31 as Morris has eight. Now the Rockets will pressure in a backcourt. Blue Jays get around it. Munner. Cross-court pass. Grothaus in the lane. In the high post, kicks it back. Elwood right of the center circle. Guarded by Harris. Moves off to Grothaus. He'll direct the traffic. Grothaus double team to Elwer. Elwer. Munner in the post. Lost the handle out of play. And it will stay with the Blue Jays. Oh, the Blue Jays are in no hurry right now. Up by 11. Going to force Pandora Gobo to do something a little bit different on defense. See if they can force some turnovers. But Blue Jays are just taking their time, trying to run their sets. 
And I put the ball in over his hands. That's who has it at the center circle. Double team passes out of it to Munner. Gives right back to Elwer, the high right point. Approaching four minutes in this fourth quarter on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. Munner in the lane, double team, blocked from behind, thrown back into play, a great defensive play by the Rockets. Harris spins, hangs, hits. Timeout called by Mike Lee with 3.55 to go. We'll step aside as well. 42-33 here on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard presented by Sprunger Insurance with locations in Pandora and Bluffton. Sprunger Insurance sees go Rockets. Rockets have trimmed the lead tonight at 42-33. Blue Jay basketball. Pandora Gilboa trying to trap. Yeah, Pandora coming out on a little bit of 1-2-1-1 full court pressure here and almost gets a turnover. Nearly. Instead, Grothaus bounces. Austin Munner in the near corner. Wisely holds on to the basketball. Tries to split a double team, but he traveled with it. So the Rockets force a turnover. They trail by nine. 3.36 to go. Pandora Gaboa beat St. John's at the Vatican 51-49 on January 14th. When you take a look at five-point games this year, Delta St. John's three and four. Pandora Gaboa three and two. So, both squads have been on both ends of tight ball games. Aiden Morris gives to Aiden Harris left side. Behind the back dribble at the free throw line. Got rid of it. Mag, free throw line jumper. Hit every bit of the rim and drops. 42-35. Blue Jays able to get out of the pressure. Roadhouse finds a wide open mutter. Hangs and hits in the lane. First basket for Austin Munner's a big one. Throws the lead back out to nine. Well, Pandora Gilbo's got to score quickly here with 2.56 to go in the game. And they got to find some offense quickly. Can't take long possessions here. You know, see if they can score some points when no time is coming off the clock. Fourth foul committed by Landon Grothaus. I think it's the third time he's tried to take a charge and hasn't got one yet. So Aiden Morris goes to the Lee's Famous Recipe free throw line with 2.56 to go. Free throws tonight brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wampak, and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. A pair of Rockets waiting to check into the ball game. I'll make that substitution as Owen Huffman on the floor, as is Jake Mag. Nick Mag. Derek Mag from the seat. Aiden Morris at the line, shooting one and one. Can't hit. And the rebound comes down to Austin Munner. They'll try to trap him. And a foul committed by Aiden Morris. And Bronx cheer comes from the St. John faithful. Fourth foul committed by Colin Harris. His fourth and the team's fifth. So now Jack Gerker subs out of the game in exchange for Landon Grothaus for the Jays. 2.50 to go. Grothaus in the backcourt. Pressure. Gets it across the timeline. Elwer, right side, bounce it off the foot of Munner. Morris in the backcourt. Not, a, pass up not a great pass there by Elwer. You know, could have pulled it out, uh, ran some more time, tried to fit, you know, put it in there quickly, and just not a good pass. Colin Harris fouled on the shot. One of the and one couldn't drop. Instead, two free throws coming from the Lee's Famous Recipe free throw line for the 65% shooter. 224 remain. Rockets trail by nine, and now they trail by eight on the Sprung Range Shirt scoreboard. It's the fifth point by Colin Harris. 6-1 junior. Swishes them both from the free throw line. So it's 44-37. Rockets trying to chip away. Elwer in a tight spot. Schwinnen, I beg your pardon. 
And that timeout ball will step aside as well. 2.20 to go in the fourth. Section of Final Friday here on WOSA. the timeout, 44-37. Dr. St. John's with the seven-point advantage over Pandora Gilboa. Winner moves on to play Crestview in the district semifinals next Tuesday night at the Alana Fieldhouse. Blue Jays inbound to Aaron Mark. Get it across the timeline to Elworth. Cameron Elworth. Double team. Gives right back to Munner. Gives to Elworth. Had it stolen away. And a foul committed by the Rockets. Aiden Morris called for the foul. And that is the seventh foul committed by the Rockets. And instead of a potential layup back the other way, it's a bigger part, sixth foul. But Morris is third, and that is a big call. Yeah, tough one you know, for the official. You know, it's hard for us to see you know, where, where the contact was, but the official saw some contact and blew the whistle. Morris just picked up his fourth foot. So on the far sideline, he fouls Cameron Elwer. And he'll go to the least famous recipe free throw line, looking to grow the lead back to nine. Five foul number 10, Morris is fourth. Now, the Rockets make a couple of changes. Bringing Jake Mag and Owen Huffman off the floor. So the three on the floor, Colin Harris, Aiden Harris, Aiden Morris. First free throw from Elwer up and good. 17th for the freshman. Nate Mag on the floor as well for the Rockets. Elwer, 18. Hits them both from the least famous recipe free throw line. Leads back to nine with two minutes to go on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. And Cameron Edwards, seven for eight from the free throw line all night. Colin Harris got that tough spot. Up and good. Timeout called by Mike Lee. Step aside as well. 158, 153 to go here in the fourth quarter on WOSN. 46-39. The score on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. 153 remaining in this sectional final between fifth seed at Delta St. John's, fourth seed at Bandor Yoboa. Aaron Munner receives the inbounds pass. Austin Munner in a tight spot. And I believe Aiden Morris just fouled out of the game. Unless they point to Aiden Harris, they do. Which is Aiden Harris' third foul. So that sends Austin Munner, an 80% free throw shooter, to the line. If there's one thing St. John's does just protect, 79% is a number we don't see anymore in high school basketball. No, typically it's around, you know, 60, 62%. Right. 60, if you see 65, that's really good. Exactly. So, you know, what we see here is they're knocking down their free throws every time they get fouled. So, you know, it makes it difficult, especially for this Pandora team, as you can't really foul somebody and go, okay, they're going to miss their free throws. Hits them both from the Lee Sanders recipe free throw line. Four for Munner, 1.45 to go. The lead is nine. Harris for three, no. Offensive rebound, put back by Derek Mack is up and good. And another timeout taken by Mike Lee, 1.35 to go. We will take the timeout as well. Sectional final Friday. St. John's leads by eight here on WOSA. 1.35 to go in this sectional final. St. John's with the lead and the basketball. And they have been clutch from the free throw line here in this fourth quarter. Austin Munner, he triple teamed, gets out of it. Roadhouse, long pass up ahead to Munner. Back to Roadhouse at the high right point. Splits a double team. And a foul committed by the Rockets. Huffman's third. So Landon Grothaus, 5'10 senior, playing with four fouls. Tra trailing, leading by seven. 85% free throw shooter. Missed it. Rebound by Harris. 
Aiden Morris up the near sideline. Ball's loose. Timeout called by the Rockets. 1-12 remaining. So we'll step aside as well in this fourth quarter on WOSN. Trail by seven. They got the victory over Delta St. John's in the first meeting. 51-49. Aiden Harris receives the inbounds pass. Gives to Aiden Morris. Throws right to Harris. For three. Short. But Mag tips it back into play. Harris under a minute now in the ball game. Morris slips past the defender. Leaves it off. Mag, no. Out of play. Stays with the Blue Jays. Mag hit the deck hard, and he is writhing on the floor in pain. Nate Mag, a six foot three junior, hit the deck very hard, and with 51.1 seconds remaining, we'll have a momentary stoppage in play here to attend to Mag. And I believe they did call a foul um, on that possession. The guy official came over late. So Mike Lee will regroup the Rockets as they trail 48-41. Mag had a look at it in the lane. Couldn't drop it in. Rebound came down. Now, at least he's sitting up under his own power. 48-41. St. John, a couple of guys playing with four fouls. Landon Grothaus has four fouls. Aiden Morris has four fouls for Pandora Gilboa. Colin Harris has four fouls. He's Nate Mack, the 6'3 junior, able to walk to the bench under his own power. Love to see that. So 51.1 seconds remain on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. You're right, Josiah. It looks like the Rockets will be the beneficiary of a foul call. And that will send Owen Huffman to the line. Huffman, a six-foot junior, out of the line. Has four points on the evening. Two coming from the Lee's Famous Recipe free throw line. And make it three. So the lead is now six. And Orgel Bow in the double bonus. Huffman hit them both. 48-43. And then a substitution. Jack Gerker will enter the floor for the Blue Jays in exchange for Ethan Troopmiller. 51.1. And the Blue Jays still have three timeouts. Pandora Gilbo is out of timeouts. Roadhouse double teamed underneath his own basket in a timeout call by the Blue Jays. Just a 30 second timeout. We'll keep it here. 46 seconds remain in this sectional final. And credit Pandora Gilboa, they have really clawed back in here a couple of times. It felt like, you know, they could get to seven, but could never really get that Turner corn and that their corner turn, <laughs> Turner corn, I don't know what that is. Corner turn, but now they've got it under five and it feels, uh, you can sort of feel the tension grow here in this building. Yeah, well, you know, it's, you think of, you know, when pro, college, they really scout their opponents, and it's sometimes hard to know, you know, who should we foul here right. if we have to, you know, but you already mentioned it, how good this Blue Jays team has been, even tonight, 11 from 14 from the free throw line, so, you know, they're knocking down their free throws, but, you know, who do we want to if we have to, who do we need to foul, and I'm sure that's what Coach Lee is talking about right now. 46 seconds to go. Austin Munner will inbound. Gerker, Schwinnick, Elwer, and Grothaus join him on the floor for the Blue Jays. Nearly stolen away by Morris. He got the basketball, but was carrying it out of bounds. So 45 seconds to go on the Sprunter Insurance scoreboard. Blue Jays lead by five. Grothaus, the inbounds, trapped in a tough spot. 
Dribbles out of it. Up to Elwer. It's a race to the window. He'll pull out instead. Yeah, Elwer makes a great decision there. You know, even if it was three, four seconds, that came off because he didn't go in. Saw that the Pandora Gobo was getting back. Might have been a tough layup. Size to pull it out. Now he's got an opportunity to shoot free throws. 35 seconds remain. Elwer at the Lee's famous recipe free throw line, leading by five. Cameron Elwer has 18 points on the evening. 86% free throw shooter. Nothing but net there. On the shot, 19 for Elwer. Lead is six. Drew Miller comes back at a ball game in exchange for Jack Gerker for St. John's. Second free throw attempt from the freshman. He hits both Lee's famous recipe free throws. He's got 20. 30 seconds remain. Mag for three, short. Offensive rebound by Harris off the window. Yes, Colin Harris has 10. Rockets can't stop the clock. Long outlet pass to Drew Miller. Hands off to Grothaus. Elwer will pull it back out. He's fouled, and with 15, they'll go to the lead sandwich. Has to be free throw line, looking to salt it away. Two. 11 of Elwer's 20 points, and now 12 of his 21 have come at the least famous recipe free throw line as he sinks the first. A six foot freshman, 22 on the evening, and a timeout called by Delphi St. John's. 14.3 remain. We'll keep it here as they now lead by seven. Every time Pandora Gilboa has shrunk that lead, Josiah, the Blue Jays have been able to get it right back, mostly coming at the free throw line. Yeah, they, they really dug a hole early in that second quarter, uh, and they've been trying to claw back, and they've done a good job of getting it to five uh, here, but um, this Blue Jay team just not steps to the line you know, with confidence and knocks down those free throws. and. You know, especially when you have a freshman, you know, you got to talk about Cameron Etler. He's a freshman yep. knocking down those free throws. Yeah, it's been clutch. We, I mentioned 13 of his now 22 coming from the charity strike, but just a fantastic performance from Elwer. Uh, Nolan Schwinnen also chipping in 13 points tonight. Uh, averages four. 4.1 points per contest, 13 in a sectional final. Uh, and defensively, he's been a big, a big component for the Blue Jays as well. Yeah, I mean, you know, rebounding, taking charges. Uh, you know, that, I remember that, you know, just that one play where he came out of nowhere just to get yeah. that tip and, and make that layup. So, you know, he's done a really good job, you know, being that second threat for this Blue Jays team. You get a block charge call, and it's called a charge on the, on the Rockets. That goes against Colin Harris. And that should be his fifth foul. It is. So Colin Harris, the 6'1 junior, is fouled out of the ballgame. He finishes with 10 points on the evening. As the Blue Jays will empty the bench a bit. Gavin Holdbreed. Much to the delight of the Blue Jay faithful. <laughs> of the fan favorites. Oh, yeah. A 10.7 and a five point lead. Pandora Gilboa won't foul. Delta St. John's hangs on to grab a sectional final victory. They're moving on to play the Crestview Knights next Tuesday night at the Alana Fieldhouse of the Division IV District. St. John's victorious tonight, 50 to 45 over the Pandora Gilboa Rockets. Well, you got a you know, congratulations to the Blue Rays as the Blue Jays, Blue Rays, Blue Jays as they advance um, you know, as they go on. And you know, just want to mention again, you know, just those little things they did tonight yeah. you know, to secure the win. You know, how big are free throws? We talked about it. You know, a team that shoots almost 80 percent, 79, 80 yeah. percent uh, as a team. 
Um, you know, that's just an amazing, and we showed it tonight, is those free throws were the difference in this game. So the Blue Jays move on with a 52-45 victory over the Pandora Bowl Rockets. The Rockets end their season at 18-5. Great season for Mike Lee's squad. Delta St. John's are now 17-7. And and moving on to the district semi-finals. Blue Jays led in scoring tonight 22 from Cameron Elwood, 13 of 22. Scored at the least famous recipe free throw line, Landon Broadhouse with nine. Nolan Schwinnin, 13. While Pandora Gilboa was led in scoring by Aiden Harris with 12 in the losing effort. That'll do it from us here in Van Wert for our entire WLSN crew. We have Kelsey and Josiah. I'm Garrett Seawright saying so long. We'll catch you next time right here on WOSN.